Okay, situation 4. A flag pole is supported by tension wires AB, AC, and AD to resist an uplift force of 185 newtons acting on the axis of the pole. So, 185 newtons acting on the axis. So, pataas yan. Uplift. Pataas na 185 newtons. Okay? Given dimensions A and B. And also H. Ilagay natin yung values. Yan. So, what is the tension on um, AB, AC, and AD? Yan yung hinahanap. So, these are ano, um, cables. No? Kaya, uh, they are two force members. Tension yung ating force. So, ito yung style ko dito. Basta two force members lang sila, or actually loaded, then magagamit natin dito yung summation of forces lang. Parang ano siya, method of joints at joint A. Pero parang space trust din yung analysis. Kunin natin una yung mga coordinates of the given points. And then define natin yung components later. Okay? So, if that is the origin, yung point O natin, naka-indicate kasi siya sa axis, what is the x-axis of point A? So, x-axis of point A is 0. Hindi siya gumalaw about, uh, along the x-axis. What is the y-axis of the point A? So, 0 pa rin. Kasi hindi siya gumalaw. Ito yung y-axis natin. And the x-axis at, ano, I mean the z-axis at point A. So, take note, ito yung z-axis natin. So, nag-move siya upward ng 12 units. So, this is the coordinates at A. Okay? At B naman, define natin coordinates at B. So, x-axis from origin, nag-move tayo ng 3. There is no y-axis. Hindi siya nag-move about uh, along the y-axis, 0. And wala din siyang z-axis or z-coordinate because hindi siya nag-move upward or downward. So, this is the coordinate at B. Coordinates at C. So, nag-move tayo ng uh, 4 meters um, behind the x-axis or to the negative x-axis. Ito yung positive natin. So, nag-move tayo pa atras ng 4, kaya negative 4. Then, y-axis, nag-move tayo ng 3 meters along the y-axis. Uh, 3 units. Then, there is no z-axis. Hindi tayo umakyat or hindi tayo bumaba. Andito tayo sa plane. Okay? Point D. Walang z-axis dyan kasi, I mean, walang x-axis kasi hindi siya nag-move along the x-axis. Yung y-axis natin, umatras tayo. Or to the negative y-axis, 4 units. So minus 4. Then, hindi siya nag-move upward or hindi siya nag-move downward. Kaya, 0 yung ating uh, Z coordinate. Okay. So, obviously, your acting force is uplift. So, the tension on each uh, member, I mean, the force on each, on each member must be tension. Paganyan siya. Away from that point. Parang, again, nag-method of joints tayo at A. But there are three components of each of the forces. Ito yung tension AB, tension AC, and tension AD. My components X, Y, and Z yan. Ito yung gagawin natin. Let's have the vector of forces para mas madali nating ma-determine yung components. De I-define natin yung vector AB. Okay? From A to B, yung direction ng arrow natin. So that is simply B, ito yung head, direction of the head minus the tail. Coordinate of B minus A. So that is x minus x, 3 minus 0 is 3i. 0 minus 0 for the y coordinate is 0j. And 0 minus 12 is minus 12k. So i, j, k yan. That is just to indicate the direction. i along x, j along y, k along z. And kunin natin yung absolute value. Ito yung procedure to solve for the vector of forces or components. That is simply square root of 3 squared plus 0 squared plus 12 squared. Absolute value lang. Kasi naka-square naman yan. So ito yung makukuha natin. Although pwede natin itong idiretso sa vector, no? pero wag na lang. Kasi for me, mas uh, madali naman to. Hindi ka pa ulit-ulit mag um, 
input sa calculator, no? Basta define lang natin siya. Yung AC naman. So, coordinates of C minus coordinate of A. Alright, nahin natin yung X. Negative 4 minus 0. So, negative 4I. 3 minus 0 is 3J, positive. And 0 minus 12 is minus 12K. Then, kunin natin yung absolute ni AC. Balit yung prerequisite natin. The square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 12 squared, 13. So, tapos na natin ma-define si vector AB and vector AC. Vector AD naman tayo. Again, head minus tail. The head is pointing D. D minus A tayo. 0 minus 0 is 0 I. Negative 4 minus 0 is minus 4 J. And 0 minus 12 is minus 12 K. Then the same pattern, solve natin yung absolute value. Or that's the length of these cables. Yung absolute value na yan are the length of the cables. Square root of 0 squared plus 4 squared plus 12 squared. Again, it doesn't matter kung negative yan. Kasi it will be squared. Anong gamit yan, sir? Okay, ito yung mangyayari dyan. Okay. Yung vector format of the tension of AB, tawag ko siyang TAB. Vector. That will be the magnitude times the unit vector. Ano ba yan, sir? Bakit ganyan yung muka? Madali lang to. Ito lang yan eh. The unit vector is the vector divided by absolute value. 3 over... 3 over, uh, over 3 square root of 17 in terms of 5. Yan yung ibig sabihin dyan. 0j, oh, kaya walang j dyan, kaya 0. Minus 12k divided by 3 over square root of 17k. So, ibig sabihin dito, yung um, component ni TAB along x is TAB times that 1. Yan yung x component. And the y component is 0 kasi wala tayong j. As you can see here, andito yung ating force. Wala tayong y component. And the z component is TAB times ito. Okay? Yan yung ibig sabihin ng vector. Now, for the, for the TAC naman in vector, that will be the magnitude of the tension on AC times the unit vector of AC. Again, madali lang yan ha. Negative 4 over 13 I. 3 over 13 J. Negative 12 over 13K. So, TAC times etong I, X component. TAC times J, Y component. And TAC times K, Z component. At ang gandahan, andito na yung directions. Hindi na natin kailangan pang i-imagine. Then, TAD vector, magnitude times the unit vector. Okay, 0 yung I, kaya walang I dito. Minus 4J over 4 square root of 10J. Minus 12K over 4 o square root of 10K. So again, that defines the components. You can do this one basta walang, ah, basta actually loaded yung members natin. Like tripods, mga problems. Basta wala lang weight. Hindi included yung weight. May problem kasi na sa November 2022 board exam na may weight yung poll. So, you cannot do this one directly. Kasi hindi siya actually loaded. Hindi siya purely actually loaded. Okay. Summation of force X. Three equations yung gagawin natin. Summation of force X, Y, and Z. Again, parang nag-method of joints tayo kay point A. Okay? So, lahat ng X component i-add natin. Ano ba yung mga X component? Ito yan, yung my I. Basta may I, yan yung X component. So, the X component of AB is tension AB times ito. Huwag mo na tingnan yung I. I, J, K indicator for direction. So, 3 over 3 square root of 17, tension AB. X component of AC, ito. So, negative. 4 TAC over 13. Ito yung kaya, kanyang coefficient. And X component of AD, take note, walang I to dito. 0 yung I. So, 0 yung ating uh, coefficient for tension AD. 
along x-axis or walang x-component. Then, there is no load along the x-axis. Yung load natin is along the z-axis or di kaya equal to 0. Equation 1. Okay, other equation, summation of force along y. So, yung y is yung j. Okay, basta yung my j. So, for the tension AB, walang j. Zero kasi yung j dyan. Kaya, zero TAB. Tension AC to the y-axis is ito. Positive 3 over 13 tension AC. Tension um, AD in y-axis is ito, yung j. So, minus 4 over 4 square root of 10 TAD. So, again, yung load dito is along the z-axis, kaya equal to 0 siya. Equation 2. Okay? And summation of force along z. Summation of force along z tayo, yung last equation natin. Alright. Okay, summation of forces along Z for the third equation. So, yung Z, yung may K. Yung mga K. So, for the tension AB, um, negative 12 over 3 square root of 17 tension AB. And negative 12 over 13 tension AC. And negative 12 over 4 square root of 10 tension AD. But take note, meron tayong upward force along Z. So, plus 185 kasi above, going upward. Plus tayo. But I will just transpose that one to the right side of the equation kaya magiging negative siya. Supposed to be plus then equal to 0. Then, uh, we will use the calculator for 3 equations, 3 unknown. It transpose natin siya to the right side kaya magiging uh, negative 185. So, equation 3. 3 equations, 3 unknown, simultaneous linear equation. Uh, by using mode 5.2, makukuha nyo na yan, yung sagot. Okay? Uh, kayo na lang bahala dyan, mag-calculator. I know, kayang-kaya nyo na yan. So, I will use another method, using matrix. Um, for me, mas madali yung matrix. Okay? So, using matrix, basta 3 equations, 3 unknown, 3 iPads, uh, 3 tripods, tripod problems, ito, matrix is very useful. Okay, so input natin sa matrix A, or kahit uh, any other matrix na no, will do, pero gawin na lang natin matrix A for the internal forces of each unknown. Gagawin lang natin, uh, in this case, eto lang. Una, for the first row, 3 over this, 0 over that one, 0, negative 12 over this one, eto. Okay? The second row, ito, i-divide natin dyan. Okay? Divide 13. 3 divided 13. Negative 12 divided by 13. Kira lang kadali. Ito naman, divide natin dito for the third row. Divided by, ito, 0. Then negative 4 divided by that one. And negative 12 divided by the absolute value. Then after that, Yung load natin, input natin sa matrix B for the external load. Sa matrix B, um, 3 by 1 yung gagamitin natin. That is X, Y, and Z load. Our load here is along the Z axis only. Kaya dito natin sa in-input. It is positive because it is upward. Okay? Ito yung syntax. That is negative TRN matrix A, inverse matrix A, then matrix B. Lalabas automatically yung answers natin. Okay? So, ito yung ipapakita ko sa calculator. Let's have that one in our calculator. <clears throat> okay. So, Ang gagawin ko, ito yung style ko. Ini-input ko muna tong mahirap i-type no sa uh, matrix sa ating calculator. So bale, 
3 square root of 17. I-store ko muna yan kay A. Para hindi ako pa ulit-ulit. Yung AC naman, i-store ko siya kay B. 13. I-store ko siya kay B. Then, ito naman, i-store ko siya kay C. 4 square root of 10. Okay. So, mode matrix. Matrix A. Then, 3 by 3 yung um, for the load. Button down tayo. 3 by 3. Then, input natin niya. So, 3 divided by, ito siya is nakastore yan kay A. Divided by A. Oh, dito, mas mabilis pag nakastore siya. Then, 0. Then, you have minus 12 divided by A. Okay, next row. Ito. So, minus 4 divided by, nakastore yung 13 sa B. 3 divided by B. And minus 12 divided by B. Padali. Okay, third row. You have 0 minus 4 divided by this time. Itong value niya nakastore kay C. Then, minus 12 divided by C. Okay. So, tapos na tayo sa, ma sa matrix A. C A tayo. Gawin natin si matrix B. So, apps. Gawa ka ng data. 2. Then, matrix B. 2. 3 by 1 ito. For the loads. So, button 1. Uh, button arrow down. Then, 3 by 1. So, 4 yan. So, input lang natin yan. 0, 0, and 185 newtons. 0, 0, and 185 newtons. Then, press CA. Then, we will just input this syntax. Ganun parati yung syntax for actually loaded uh, members. Negative, ups, TRN tayo, button arrow down. Transpose of Matrix A. Inverse Matrix A. Ups. Matrix A. Then, inverse matrix. Raise to negative 1. Ito yung iyan natin na Input. Then, ups. Matrix B. Anyway, you can just always replay this video. So, press equal. Kuha natin lahat. So, 82.46. 65 and 47.43. Okay?